Hello, good to see you again for the latest from the South East. Now tonight we're devoting a large part of the programme to a remarkable story. In the Indian summer of 1940, Hitler was planning to invade Britain and his first target was the South East. Waiting for the Germans in these underground bunkers was a secret army. Tonight we reveal its well-kept secrets. Art has taken on a very public face at a new gallery in the Kent countryside. We'll be paying a visit. And if you're a cat lover like me, then I think we've got something you're all going to enjoy. But we're going to start with Mr Barry Payne, the Chief Constable of Kent, who this week gave uh, a warning about the consequences of proposed spending cuts on his force. There's been a new development in the story today, as we hear now from Mike Fuller. Mr Payne's plan to save the £400,000 required involved fewer policemen, an end to cadet recruitment, half the number of traffic wardens, and further reduction in the already insufficient numbers of civilian staff. He'd also have to fight rising costs by keeping a tight rein on vital but expensive things like petrol. However, the Kent Police Authority at their meeting today came to Mr Payne's rescue. They decided to resist the proposed cuts in the budget and pass their feelings on to the Deciding Policy and Resources Commission. Uh, committee, I should say. So the battle isn't yet won for Mr Payne, but he's come through the opening manoeuvres with success. I did point out that we have been making cuts over the last few years, and now we've reached the situation whereby the only way in which we can save further money is to, is to affect uh, the actual service being rendered to the public. And, of course, being a labour-intensive organisation, the only way to make real savings for the next financial year, starting April next year, is to cut the, the numbers of police officers available. How much chance have you got uh, in resisting these budget cuts? Are they going to be forced upon you anyway? The choice is theirs. I'm saying this, that if you point me in the right direction, I shall do my utmost to provide an efficient police force for Kent. But it's not for me to make political ju judgments of that nature. Mr Barry Payne. Now, during the last 2,000 years, Britain has been invaded twice by Julius Caesar at Deal and William the Conqueror at Hastings. Since 1066, we've been threatened by the Spanish Armada and by Napoleon. But the most serious threat to these islands came exactly 40 years ago. The Nicholas Treadwell Gallery, which is open a weekends only from 11 until 5. And this is Lawrence the Lifeboat, launched today and dedicated to all crews past and present of the Dover Lifeboat. Mike. Thanks, Jill. And as far as I know, Dover Lifeboat has not had to be launched today. Calm seas in the main and altogether a really lovely day here in the southeast. Let's see if that's going to continue because we do hope there's more to come. Well, you'll be lucky to have a beautiful day today, Mike, because most of southern England has had a lot of cloud and there's even some rain in the west. I think some parts of Kent have done uh, better than most other places. But tomorrow the whole of the country will have nice weather, sunny, bright, and the same will apply to Friday as well. The month of September, which has just ended, has turned out to be a very good one. It's been the warmest as a whole, uh, the warmest of September since 1973, and the nights have been the warmest since September of 1949. That's going back a long way. Well, here's today's chart with two fronts approaching you from the west, uh, one a, a weak warm front and a fairly weak cold front too, which will give a little rain as it comes through this evening and tonight. It should be clear of the east coast soon after midnight. And behind it, there's bright weather already in over Ireland. That'll spread to all parts of the country tomorrow. Here's the forecast chart with a, a very nice high centre to the south of the country, that should help. In Scotland tomorrow, it, there'll be a few showers, not very many. In the rest of the country, it'll be dry with sunshine at times, so a pretty good day wherever you happen to be tomorrow. Uh, sea crossings will be fairly smooth tonight and tomorrow. Southern England tonight, minimum temperatures will be about 8 degrees centigrade. They'll fall to that later in the night, most, most of the night they'll be much higher. And tomorrow afternoon, temperatures at best about 17 centigrade, which is still pretty good for early October. And winds are going to be west, veering to northwest, light over the land and force three to four over the sea. Now this evening and in the early part of the night, there'll be occasional, mainly light rain or drizzle in your area. This will clear away in the early part of the night, the rest of the night will be dry, tomorrow will be dry and there'll be good sunny periods tomorrow, so a nice day. That's it, back to Mike. And Trevor's weather concludes proceedings. Uh, just to say that we'll be back on the South East Trail on Friday night. Join us then.